Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements 15 and the MoviePicks.com Guide to Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements 15. And here we are in version 15 of Premiere Elements looking at some of the new features in this version of the program. One of my favorite new features and I think one of the most exciting is a feature called video collage. Now traditionally in video editing when you produce what's called a multi-screen or a split screen effect you have to build several tracks of video and you have to crop them and position them. This tool makes it very very simple to create a split screen or a multi-screen effect. Go over to the create button here in the upper right of the program and select video collage. Now in Video Collage, if you look on the right, you see that you have a number of templates. Templates for as few as three, or as many as, let's go down to the bottom here, or as many as seven videos on screen at the same time. So you've got a nice variety, and you can see they come in a variety of patterns and shapes and designs. Let's go ahead and select this one, and you can either select it and click Apply, or just double click on it. And you see it's this simple. You have a grid and all you need to do is add video to it. So let's go to the media bin here and we'll select the option to add media from files and folders. Just grab a couple of videos at random here and we'll click open. And they're added to my project and I can just drag them in. It's this simple. Just drag them in from the media panel into each of these grids. Now you notice once they're inside a grid or a square you have some options. So as I've got this particular grid activated right now or this particular square, you see if I hover over to the center I can adjust how the video centers there inside the square. I can also adjust uh, how zoomed in or zoomed out it is with this little slider. You see we also have options here in the upper right hand corner. Sometimes this shows up in the upper left. Uh, when you select a grid, it all depends on wherever it fits on the screen. And that gives us some additional options. So for instance, I've got this little square here in the lower left selected. And if I want to swap it with the video above it, all I need to do is select the swap option up here in the upper right. Click on that. And now just drag this from this square to the one above it. And they'll trade places. We also have the ability to trim. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you see also you can select whether to use the sound from each video clip or to mute it. I'm going to mute it so I don't have a bunch of sounds uh, playing at the same time. But it all depends on your personal need. There we go. I've muted them all. And now you notice you have in addition to grid templates up here in the upper right, you also have the options for playback settings. When I select that, I have the option of either playing one of these squares at a time in other words, one, then two, then three, or playing them all together. Now, if I play them one at a time, no problem. They can be of any length. And if I select that option and click on preview, you see what happens is the program will generate a preview. It's going to drop in each of those videos and play them one at a time. Once that one is finished, it'll start the second one, etc., etc. Now that's fine if that's what you want. A little more challenging if you select the option to play them all at the same time. I actually prefer all at the same time, but there's a liability with it, and I'll show you that in a second. So we select all together, and this time if we click on preview, you see they all come in and they're all playing at the same time, and that's great. But the problem is these video clips are not all the same length. So look what happens. This clip ran out, and now it's gone to freeze frame. Let me show you that again. This clip on the right is, as you can see, the numbers at the bottom, 7 seconds long. The one on the upper left is 11 seconds long. The one below it, 9 seconds long. Well, what's going to happen when this shortest one runs out? Is this going to go to a freeze frame? And then the second clip in the lower left is going to play. And once it gets to the end, it's going to freeze frame until the longest of the clips continues until the end. Maybe that's the effect you want. If not, all you need to do is trim them so that they're all the same length. So I'm going to start with the longest clip here and just select the trim option. And that opens up something that looks like the clip monitor. And I can just drag in on either side here to make a shortened version of the clip. And you notice down here in the lower right hand corner, I'll show you what the final duration of the clip is. We want it to be seven seconds. There we go. And now when I exit this, 
There we go, now they're the same length. And if I did that with all three, they would all play and all stop at the same time. Finally, you have an option over here on the right to add music, and the music screen, if you click on that button, opens up scores. And scores, of course, is the internal uh, music generation program that's built right into Premiere Elements for creating custom music for your videos. So you can create that and then export and share. You can either save it back to your timeline or export and share it as a separate video or you can send it directly up to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, whatever you'd like to do. A lot of great options but as you can see a very easy to use tool and a welcome addition to version 15 of Premiere Elements.